Yo, what's going on everyone? Benjamin Nowak here with the Small Mouth Experience. And this is a video that I like to make every year. This is my goal setting for the season. Now what's going to be different is I'm going to actually put them on a whiteboard. I'm going to hang them over there on that wall. We're going to revisit these throughout the year to make sure that I'm actually focusing on these and accomplishing my goals. Now before we get into the video, I want to do a couple housekeeping things. There's going to be some big news coming, some new rods I want to talk to you guys about, and some new baits. But I want to kind of incorporate them into my videos before I start talking about them. Uh, I've been out fishing one time went to a hot pond area and caught some big fish, but it's one of those areas you can't really film at. Um, so there will be some fishing content coming at you guys soon, whether it's from last year. I have one or two more videos from last year I want to post, um, or whether it's from this year, but there's going to be some videos coming out very shortly, me actually on the water. One final thing before we get into this, I'm going to be doing a quarantine series, 14 days of quarantine videos. So down in the description, there's going to be a schedule of the next 14 days, or at least the next five days, um, basically a week out. And that's gonna kind of give you guys an idea of what's gonna be posted. I'm curious to see what you guys wanna see posted. So let me know down in the comment section. Let me know um, if there's a topic you'd like me to talk about or if you want me to do some lifestyle stuff or boat stuff or whatever it is you guys wanna see on my channel. Let me know in the comment section below uh, because I'm going to try to post videos for the next 14 days. I actually got this idea from a company that I learned how to video edit from rusted rooster the key for brothers they're doing something in the hunting realm where they're posting 14 videos for the next 14 days so uh we're gonna try to do that with this but with that said let's dive into my goals for 2020. so we're gonna start with the fishing section first or the fishing goals for the season and the way i did this was we're gonna start big picture start by talking about lakes that i want to fish then we're gonna go down to baits that i want to be throwing on those lakes and then we're gonna talk about accomplishments that i believe can happen if these first two things are adhered to. I did the same thing for the personal goals. I start really big picture and work downwards from there. Um, so that's basically the way that I laid out my goals for the year. And this is something I like to do just in general with goal setting. Start with the macro goal, work sm smaller, and then work down from there. Because if the first two get accomplished, the third will get accomplished, and vice versa. So the first goal that I want to talk about for the fishing goal is to prospect three new lakes or three new areas. Now that doesn't mean I'm only going to fish three bodies of water this year, or three lakes or three areas. What that means is I'm really going to focus time on three areas. I'm going to really try and break down and fish effectively three brand new areas. And I like the word prospect. I was talking to my buddy Dirds about this. I like the word prospect because that's a really in-depth look at a spot. It's a really in-depth uh, breakdown or exploration or mining of an area. So prospecting is the word that I chose to use. So actually the way that I came up with this goal was looking back on past successes. The years that I've had my best success are years where I've really focused in on small areas instead of kind of being scatterbrained and going to fishing a bunch of new uh, places or bodies of water. I really focused in on small areas um, and that allowed me to break those spots down really effectively, find key pieces of cover or structure that fish were holding on, and kind of understand how fish moved across them. Versus if you fish a whole bunch of new areas, what can happen is you get really scatterbrained and you say, okay, well, on this body of water, they're doing this, and over here, they're doing that. By prospecting or breaking down three new spots gives me the opportunity to have some variety, but also really get dialed in on locations and it's also important to have three areas because if the wind is bad one day and i can't go to one spot i can go to a different lake or i can go to somewhere else so having three areas is really really key to me but i really want to spend time exploring and prospecting i like that prospecting one. three new spots for this season Number two is some baits that I want to learn to fish more effectively, and it is becoming confident with spy baits, Alabama rigs, and wobble heads. Now, the areas that I've chosen are more shallow bodies of water. I've spent a lot of time really, really deep, you know, 30 plus for the water these past couple of years, and what I really broke down and thought about was that I think there are bigger fish in shallower water, and all of these are techniques that I can fish in 15 foot or less. So by, coming, by becoming confident with these three baits, I think I can accomplish this third goal, which we'll talk about here in a minute. Now, spy baits are something that I know catch fish all over the country, and it's something that I want to invest some time in because it's a technique that catches not only fish, but it catches really big fish. It's a very finesse style technique that tends to draw giant bites, bigger bites than other you know, types of baits on, on the market. A rig, same thing. Alabama rig will draw a lot of really big bites and you can cover water extremely quickly with an Alabama rig. You can also really get an idea if the fish are willing to bite that day. Um, and it's kind of like 
as I mentioned in one of my other videos, the machine gun of bass fishing. I can throw this through there, see if their fish are active, and it's something that I can use really effectively. Now, I've been watching a ton of Mark Zona. He throws an A-Rig a lot. So it's something that I know works for smallmouth, catches big ones, and allows you to break down water super quickly. And the wobblehead, again, we're fishing moderately shallow water, 15, 20 foot or less most of the year. That's my goal. Um, and the wobblehead is a great technique to do that with. It also creates some commotion. You can use a variety of different types of trailers. So wobblehead is something I developed a little bit of confidence on last year, but can cover water with, can fish slowly, can create commotion, can you know do a whole bunch of different things with. So the wobblehead is something I want to add to my arsenal. And it's something that's becoming more popular, is popular in the bass fishing world. Now let's break down the third and final fishing goal. So number three is really dependent upon my success with these first two, and that is put seven smallmouth in my boat over six pounds. This is an ambitious goal. This is something that I know is possible though, because my very best year I caught seven smallmouth, six pounds or larger. So I know it's possible, um, but I think it's going to really require me to be successful in these top two to make this one happen. But seven smallmouth over six pounds. I did this three years ago. Um, last season I caught three, the year prior I caught two. And I think that's a function of how I was fishing and where I was fishing more so than it was uh, my fishing abilities. Actually, I know that's true. So seven smallmouth over six pounds. And this is gonna be the one that I'm super excited about because I think if I accomplish these two, this one's going to happen. So those are my fishing goals for this season. And I really tried not to get too into the weeds on anything, kind of keep things fairly general, but also very measurable. These are all things that I can measure um, and are accomplishable. So are my fishing goals for 2020. Now as we move into the personal side, we're going to go again big picture um, as we work down and you're going to notice that as I work through this. So goal number one is going to be the very most important goal on this entire board, whether it's fishing or whether it's personal, this is going to be the very most important, especially with some big life changes that I have coming up, but prioritizing the three F's, faith, family, and fishing. And a lot of times I've been putting fishing like way above a lot of other things. So it's important to really have these priorities out there. Um, I'm gonna be having a baby coming soon, so prioritizing my family, priori prioritizing the three F's, will allow me to be successful in everything that I do, whether it's in YouTube, whether it's in fishing, whether it's in life. Prioritizing these things with work in there as well is going to be extremely important throughout the year. So that's really my biggest goal of all of these. Make sure I prioritize the three Fs. This isn't measurable, but it's something that I have to keep reminding myself of because it's super important and super critical to making everything in my life work as I need it to. Goal number two, this is something that is always on my mind, and that is maintaining and growing relationships. I wrote relationships because that's really the sum of it all. Relationships in fishing, relationships in the fishing industry, relationships in my life, maintaining these relationships, growing relationships, and building them to make them stronger. One of the biggest pieces of advice, because I've lost friends over fishing, I've gained friends over fishing, is keep in mind, these are real people, and this is your life, and Prioritizing relationships over everything else in the fishing industry is really important. You only get one shot at having a friend. If you blow that, it kind of messes everything up. You only get one shot at working with the company. So if you blow that, it kind of messes things up. So maintaining, building, and growing relationships, being humble, and um, understanding the importance of this is also going to be key in all of these goals as well. This last one is super YouTube focused and it is 80 videos from April to November. Now that is eight months worth of content. So that is 10 videos per month. That's one video every three days. So 80 videos between April and November is something that I really want to accomplish. And this, I did this the first two seasons of YouTube. I feel like I really struggled last year a little bit. So I want to say 80 videos between April to November, um, 10 videos a month which really shouldn't be that difficult. So I just gotta get on, get it on it and come up with 80 videos between April and November. It's gonna help us grow, it's going to uh, help me grow, and by making 80 videos, I just really feel like it's going to help us build this community, which means a ton to me, because um, all you guys are awesome. So these are my goals for the year. Prospect three new areas, become confident in three new baits, catch seven smallmouth over six pounds, prioritize the three Fs, build, maintain, and grow relationships, and make 80 videos of this entire process. 
So those are my goals. Again, this is my very first video in a 14-day quarantine series. Uh, part of those, or five of those videos will be linked down in the description that you guys can go uh, check out that schedule. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you guys want to see. So as always, thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions or comments, let me know down in the comment section below. And let me know some of your goals for this season. What do you want to accomplish in 2020? As always, take care of Ted Lines. God bless. Pursue passion.